Hi there, hope everyone's fine. So today is my last day in Joshua Tree. And in fact, it's the last day in America. We'll be flying back to London tomorrow. Um, and I've come to this uh, area called Eco Tea. Uh, to try a couple of boulders to kind of redeem myself from uh, yesterday. Uh, didn't really uh, move on cavemen. Uh, there was a particular move that I couldn't do at all. Um, but that's how things are in bouldering sometimes. Uh, so today I'm gonna try a couple of blocks that I think that they are a bit more my style. So yeah, I'm looking forward to start climbing and see how I get on. All right, so to give you guys a bit more context about this day, um, it was mid-May and man, it was hot. I think I showed up at the crack like around half six and it was already 26 or 28 degrees, um, which is, you know, if this happened in the UK, I, I would just never bother even going to the crowd it's just too hot but it was just it was the fact that it was my last day in the US and it was in Joshua Tree that you know I was so so keen to climb and I didn't want to miss out on you know uh, a climbing day just because it was um, I guess it was sub optimal conditions <laughs> anyway I was not just a bit of a hot day it was like really really hot it was I was by myself at the crack no one else was there and um, in a way, I guess it was a bit stupid. Um, but again, I was going back to London on the next day and I really, really wanted to have a last day of climbing. Anyway, this um, problem was called the purple. It's called the purple, still there. And uh, it is a V6 which has mega sharp holds. Uh, it's kind of like a three move problem uh, on tiny crimps and uh, these and the clink pinch and then after you climb through this you just finish off uh, by doing this pop for this uh, other crimp which is as well sharp but you know once you get there the pro problem is meant to be over and it starts on jugs as well so once I warmed up and I felt recruited, you know, I started giving it bends from the very beginning. When you pull on, you go already to the cracks, which is this crimp here, and then this other one, and then you have to do the undercling uh, pinch. I got fairly far on my first try, to be honest. Um, then, the thing is that because it was really really hot and the holes were really really sharp every attempt took like a massive toll on my skin uh, so even though um, you know v6 or 7a is a great that I, I feel fairly okay either trying to flash or just climb in these conditions it felt desperate here i am on my second attempt I get through the first two crimps and then I can't pull on. I seem to remember that they were quite position dependent. It's not like all of the area where you can pull was okay to pull from. Some bits were sharper than others, so you had to get them just right. I go quite far again on this attempt, but then I I think I didn't hit the right bit of that after lip uh, crimp, so I was thrown away. And that was the thing with this after the cracks move, that even though the problem is over, you still have to keep your feet on and hit it just right. Otherwise, like on this attempt, you just get spit off the rock. I remember finding that so annoying and I think I had a bit of a tantrum but it was okay I was alone by myself in the desert so no one heard. <laughs> oh, la
Increíble. Um, and yeah, one of the reasons I got um, so annoyed is because, as I said before, every attempt was so taxing on the skin that it's almost like if I didn't get it then, how on earth am I going to get it now if my skin is running even lower than before and the holes are even warmer? Um, but in any case, I knew that it was a rather short problem, so I had to keep just uh, try it. Got quite close in this attempt as well, but then had a little dab. And after again a three to five minute rest, I pulled on again, and I believe this was the send go. I guess now that I see it in perspective as I'm editing this video, it doesn't look like it took me ages to climb it. However, just because I was resting three to five minutes in the heat, it felt like an eternity. And even then, I was quite solid on those uh, holds. I got a bit of summit, summit fever, uh, not knowing exactly how to top out. But soon after, I just uh, got it right. Anyway, this is the last video of the US series. I hope you've all enjoyed if you've sticked around for the previous videos. If not, you can go and have a look at uh, my channel, um, especially if you want to plan a trip to the US, um, to the west coast of the US and just then climbing. I think I covered not all the cracks, but many of the really, really famous ones. So if you want some beta, if you want some insight of some of the cracks, please have a look because I really think that that would be useful. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. There's more coming up soon, uh, more about the UK and Europe, uh, some sport climbing trips coming up soon as well. Uh, and yeah, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys very, very soon.